All right, lads. Um, a few people have come in and they haven't they having problems with tying small loops into mono for hair rigs or for joining loop to loop. And the, the, some of the hook tire or the loop tires that are on the market are very hard to use. So, I'm just going to show you a, a, a basic, simple, homemade one if you like. Right? Here's a, a standard, well, a, a large paper clip. Okay. Now, on one end you have two circles, two loops, and on the other end just one. Okay. Now, this end, just where the you have the one, just get a pliers and snip it at the top there and there. Okay. And what you end up with then is two separate pieces. Okay. Now, these are your hook tires, your loop tires. I'm going to show you how these work now. Okay. Get a bit of mono. People like me with big clumsy fingers are finding it very hard to tie a loop. So what you do is get, get your mono, whatever you're going to use, wherever you're going to put the loop at the end. And it doesn't matter how big you make it, just grab as much as you need and get make a loop. And tie that loop into a knot, into a, a knot and, and another hand knot. And do it twice, put it twice through, right? Through once and through twice, okay? And basically what you end up then is with two loops and your tag end on this end, okay? So you have two loops. Now, here's where the easy bit comes in. Get your two loops and pick up the, the, the different size hair clip you want to depend on what size or what length you want the little loop to be. I'll use the big one on this just to make it easier to show you, so that's the same. Now, pick the, the, the hair clip up and have the longest shaft facing your hand, the inside of your hand. Okay, and then you have these two loops. Put the outside loop over the long shaft and the inside loop over the short shaft. Put your finger on top and start pulling. Okay, now at this stage you normally wet the knot. Okay, you'd wet it down, a bit of saliva, pull it down, then slide it off that, and keep it on that one and pull it tight. And what you end up with is a lovely little small knot loop that won't slip. Now what you can do as well is, you can get a pliers and you can actually make them narrower again to give you a much smaller loop. And as you'll see with some of these, different size loops can be made from just that one paper clip. Even right down to tiny little ones like that. Okay, cheers lads.